Hi guys, welcome back to a little about LV. Today I'm going to do a little get ready with me. I'm not really going anywhere, but that's not the point. I haven't done a makeup video in a long time, but rest assured it is still my favorite thing to do. So today I wanted to give you a little refresher for everybody that watches my channel for my makeup videos of how I do my makeup, some of my favorite products right now. I am gonna focus a little bit more on the eyes, maybe do a little smoky eye for you because I feel like a lot of us are probably wearing masks right now, so the only way we're able to express ourselves with our makeup is our eyeballs. So we are going to focus on the eyes a little bit more today. I know a lot of you have kind of wanted me to go more in depth on how I'd get my eye looks. So we're gonna do full lashes, full liner if you're interested in that, or if you're just here to, you know, listen to me talk through my little makeup tutorial here, then you're gonna love this video too. Really quickly, I know I've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately, so if you're new to my channel, my name's Lindsay, and I'm so glad you're here. Basically, it's just about me and all the fun things that I like to do, mostly makeup, but I do crafts, DIY, home decor, travel vlogs. I do pretty much everything, but if you're watching this, I really, really appreciate you. Welcome to my channel, and we're going to jump right in. So it's really early for me. Early for me would be like 9.30 a.m. So I'm drinking my whipped coffee that I made. I did a little tutorial of how I do my whipped coffee on my Instagram stories a while ago, but if you don't follow me on Instagram or you wanna see a YouTube video of it, just comment down below, I might do that. All right, so my hair's looking a little crazy today and I didn't realize that, but it's okay. We're not gonna talk about that today. We're gonna talk about our face. I'm gonna start out with e.l.f. Luminous uh, Matte Makeup Primer. This is only like three or five dollars. Like I cannot say enough about a primer that really works and I truly like for three dollars. So, and again with primer, I really like to focus like on my T-zone here the chin area, just places that um, your makeup tends to come off a lot more easily. Mine's usually like around my nose, like in this area. So I really like to focus primer in that area. All right, so now for foundation, I've got my two little wet beauty blenders here. One is actually a beauty blender. The actual brand is like $20 for this one little spongy. Um, this one was $2. This is the Walmart Equate brand. As you can see, they're almost exactly the same so i also think they kind of work the same i'm going to use one for my foundation and one for my concealer today but as a little reminder if you haven't seen one of my other videos about these this is for sure a dupe it is two dollars equate brand at walmart all right and so for foundation today i'm doing the face tape foundation one of my friends gave me this this is in the shade light medium honey i am actually loving this i'm not gonna lie i love tarte eyeshadows However, a lot of their facial products have broken me out in the past. So I was a little nervous to try this, not gonna lie. I thought that I'd probably get some like crazy breakouts, but I've been using it for about two weeks now and I absolutely love it. Like the finish is completely flawless. I will say that the scent is a little, it's like a pretty strong perfume, so I didn't love that at first, but I'm getting used to it. But I love how flawless it makes your skin, just really clears everything up and makes it very even toned. So I will say that I'm giving this a 10 out of 10 and I haven't had any breakouts yet. Okay, so while we're just chilling and talking with each other, how about that travel vlog video of Panama City Beach that I just posted, okay? I cannot believe how many views I have gotten on that video, okay? Only because I am a total beach bum. Like, I know people say that, but when I say that me and my husband are actual beach bums, I mean that we literally do nothing all day besides sit on the beach. And I was like, who wants to watch me sit on the beach for 10 hours a day? Everyone, apparently. And I love it. I love that everybody loved that video and everybody is watching it, don't get me wrong, but it like makes me excited. I'm like, okay, I can go on vacation and film myself and people are like really into it and I don't have to do like all these crazy like bungee jumping activities. I'm like, yes, I am sitting on the beach and everybody loves it. And I mean, don't get me wrong, like we do a lot of fun things at the beach. Like there's a lot of things that we have done in Panama City that was not in that video just because we don't do it every single time. Like. I don't go to Dave and Buster's all the time. Like I go to Dave and Buster's, I go walk around Field Park when it's like 
raining or, you know, sleeting, you know, it's just so, you know, either it's cold and like the fall or, you know, it's raining and it's gross and I don't want to be on the beach. When we have great weather like we did on this trip, I mean, like, we're going to be on the beach the whole time, but everybody was still loving it. Girl, you know, I always have good food recommendations because that's what my life is about, food. So, I think a lot of people liked it because of that. And also probably the condo tour because, I mean, I watch condo tours all the time. I'm like, I want to know if I want to stay here. I want somebody to walk me through this condo and I will determine if I want to stay there. So, I think people appreciated that too. But I love y'all for watching that video. I just, I love y'all for wanting to watch me sit on the beach all day because that's what I do. Moving on, I am going to go in with concealer now. This is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. This is in shade Lightest As They Come, which is Chantilly. And that is also the shade that I use in the winter and summertime. I just kind of like to go really light with my concealer just to really brighten up the areas that I put it on. Again, as a little refresher for all the people that watch my makeup videos, just to see how I apply my makeup. This is where I put all of my concealer. I'm looking at my little mirror right here. Sorry, y'all. And I'm going to go in with my Equate sponge that is also dampened to blend that out. In case I didn't say that before, both of these are dampened. And so that is why they're a little bit larger. If you go to purchase one of these sponges in the store, you're going to notice they are a lot smaller than what they are in this video. And that is because they take in a lot of the water and they grow when they are dampened. They're not wet. Like you cannot like know water's coming out of them. Um, so I definitely do dry them off a little bit, but the wet just kind of makes them, you know, just blend so beautifully. Like, look at that. It is blending out so nicely. And the best thing about, um, which it could be a product thing as well, um, but this blends perfectly into the makeup. It's not actually taking off the foundation. Like this isn't taking off my foundation. It's blending that concealer perfectly into it. Um, again, if that ever does happen to you, that could definitely be a um, product issue. That might be something that you just don't want to use again. But I mean, NARS would just never do that to you, honestly. And I also blend my concealer just a little bit over my eyelids because I am going to set my eyelids and put some eyeshadow primer on top of them just to ensure that our shadow stays all day. All right, so as you can see, the face is looking completely flawless like we want it to. So now I'm going to set it with my favorite setting powder, which is Lost. Just kidding, here it is. Um, it's Too Faced Peach Perfect Translucent Setting Powder. I love the way this stuff smells, first of all. Absolutely love it. Um, I love all of Too Faced products. They've never broken me out that I can remember. I use a lot of products. She does a lot of product reviews. Um, it's never broken me out that I can remember and I love the smell of them. I get the whole like Christmas collection and everything every year. It's just fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm going to go in with this little powder puff that I got off Wish. Y'all go watch my Wish video if you haven't. I love these little powder puffs to um, press in that setting powder actually into all the places on my face that I concealed because that is just going to help that concealer stay all day and that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that your makeup stays all day even when you're wearing a mask. I actually haven't done like my full makeup like this in a little while now because I hardly wore any makeup when I was at the beach because I couldn't dress up at the beach like I normally do because she left all her clothes at home. Okay, I know y'all didn't miss that part of the video. Every single thing that I put in my packing video, pretty much every single thing I left at home, left it at home. All right, so, and then I like to go in with a fluffy brush. This is the Eco Tools Multitasking Powder Brush. And I like to just tap that in a little bit, tap it off, and just go over the whole face now. And if there's ever anywhere on your face that you caked up that setting powder a little bit, this will smooth that out for you and it will get powder all over the face to set the entire face and make it very matte to start putting in bronzer and blush. Okay, so now that we are set and completely matte, as you can see close up here, the skin is flawless. Now we are going to go in and bronze up the face, contour a little bit, give us some definition, and I'm going to go in with this little e.l.f. bronzer palette. It has 
several different shades in there. They're all mostly like, there's a little bit of cool and warm tones. Two of them are actually kind of shimmery if that's your deal. Um, I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade today because I am a little tan right now. You might not can see that in the lights, but I'm gonna go in with a super cheap wet and wild tapered end brush. That is what I always like to use for bronzing. As long as it's tapered, it doesn't matter how much it costs. So I'm gonna mix a couple of these actually, just cause I like to get the little glitter in there too. And we are just going to run that right at the bottom of our cheekbone. It helps me to know where to put it by making this like really weird pouty face, but that will kind of define your cheek and let you know where to put that bronzer to give you the best definition for your face. And as you can see on that side, it has contoured the face where there's not really any contour on this side. And again, you don't want to bring this all the way down. Like you don't want to bring this down to your mouth, make it look kind of skeleton-y. Like you just want to kind of bring it right in this area. And I just want to point out that $3 primer. Like if you watch any of my other makeup videos, you know that we're going to highlight a little bit up here to give us a little bit of shine. But as you can see, there's already a little bit of natural shine right there from that luminescent primer. And again, I have super oily skin, so don't get me wrong. It's not like oily, like my skin is very, very matte right now. However, there is like this beautiful little sheen under the skin. So for $3, you cannot beat that e.l.f. primer. And so we also like to put a little bit of bronzer up here, right around the temples, just kind of where um, you would have like a depth in your skin tone and then this area is going to be brighter. You just want to give the illusion of a very contoured face. We also want to put a little bit right here along the jawline, not too much. You don't want to give yourself a crazy line there, just a little bit. Just tap it, make sure you're not giving yourself a line. You can always take a larger tapered brush dip in and kind of come down a little bit. I usually do that just to kind of blend it, but you want to give the illusion of like darkened jawline, just to make that jawline a little bit harsher and you can see where then it gets lighter and contoured and then lighter again. And then so if you are a little bit extra like me or if you have a problem with your nose, I like to go in with either the very, very tip of my tapered end brush or sometimes I also like to use like a really tiny brush like this. Either way, um, if I want to get it more chiseled in the nose contour, I will do this. But for today, I'm just going to use the very tip of this and go in, dust it off, and just put a little bit of that shading right here along the side of the nose just to kind of define that nose a little bit, make it look a little more slender. And then I do a little bit under the nose as well. All right, so moving on, I'm going to blush up the face now just to add a little bit of color to the cheeks. Today, I think I'm gonna go in with a more peachy toned blush. My favorite blushes are from Kylie Cosmetics, period. Today, we're gonna go in with Kitten Baby is the color. This is one of hers that she came out with in a collection. I don't even know if she still has this. I don't know, I'm sorry if she doesn't, but any of her blushes are phenomenal. I'm going in with a little brush that I think I got this off Wish in like a set, I don't know. I like these to be kind of fluffy on the ends and not too big, um, just cause I don't want blush like all over the face. You want something a little more controlled and a very like rounded. So we're just gonna go in and dot it onto the apples of the cheeks here and then bring it back just a little bit. And the reason we do that is so that it's not just a defined circle. And we just, we don't wanna put it like in with the bronzer and we don't wanna put it like way up here where the highlighter is, just kind of somewhere in the middle just to give a little bit of color to those cheeks. And I like to bring this color in just a tiny bit. Like I would just tap my blush and put it on a few little extra parts of the face. I actually saw Kylie do this in several of her tutorials and that's why I do it. It just makes her face like very um, cohesive, I guess you could say. Like it's not just like she has blush like right here. It kind of brings it in everywhere, but it doesn't look like she put blush there. But I do like how it warms up the face. All right, so moving on to highlighter because I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I wanted to go in with Laura Lee's Glaze palette. I love this palette. It's one of my absolute favorite highlighting palettes. It is definitely something that's worth spending your money on and this was cheap. Like this was $18 for these huge pans. I will never 
go through all of these. So for today, I'm going in with another Eco Tools brush. This is the controlled setting, but I like this because it's very, very fluffy and kind of small. It's also like very thin on this side and then thicker on the other side. So I'm gonna go in and just lightly tap into the first two shades here. I'm just gonna mix those together, tap it off, and place it right here where we put our highlighter. And as you can see, it's already blinding. I love, love, love this highlighter. She just really went there with it. It's beautiful, it blends out. It doesn't create like a defined line because that's not what you want. You don't want like a super defined line. You just want the light to catch your face there when you turn. And we're gonna put it right down the middle of our nose as well. You can also do this with your fingers. I know you've probably seen me do that in another video. If you're running behind, you just wanna like right down the nose. That will give a little more definition as well. And also put some right here over the brow. All right, so we are highlighted up. Now I wanna go in and fill in my brows a little bit. I wasn't filling in my brows for a really long time, but now again, as I said, that I'm wearing a mask and the only thing you can see is my eyebrows and my eyeshadow. I have been penciling them in just cause I want them to be more defined. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I don't get crazy with the eyebrows. I literally go in with the $10 NYX Professional Makeup um, Micro Brow Pencil. This is in shade Taupe. And I just smooth them out and then fill them in a little bit. Very light-handedly, as you can see, I'm not like up here like I'm drawing. I'm back here very, very lightly just filling in that brow so that it is more defined actually not even drawing on a brow um, like a lot of people tend to do and that's totally fine for them by the way I follow stuff like that on Instagram and I love to watch those videos and see people do that it's just not a look for me it's also not something I want to go into right now in my life as you can see I'm just filling in my already natural brow where it's a little bit sparse like in this area and then over here just to define it a little bit more you can see there's a very subtle change there all right, so the brows are done and I went ahead and put a little eyeshadow primer on my eyes. I like to use my Mary Kay eye primer. Um, this is an underrated brand for the eye primer. It's only $13 and it is the best eye primer that I've ever used. My eyeshadow stays on all day long. So let's jump in with the eyes. The first thing I like to do after my eyeshadow primer is I will either take a setting powder that I've already used or if I'm using a palette, which I'm using two different ones today, if I'm using a palette that has a very, very light shade, you can see in this one, this is the uh, Pretty Vulgar Nightingale eyeshadow palette. I love, love, love this one for a cool tone, smoky eye. It has every single shade that you'll ever need in it for that. I mean, black, gray, taupe, brown, every single shade. We got shimmers up here, a little highlighter. This right here is a completely matte, very light shade. So what I would do is whatever your skin tone is, I would go in with a big fluffy brush and just set that eyeshadow primer with any shade that is just pretty light for your skin tone, not like super, super light. Obviously mine is super light because I have very fair skin, but if you have a darker skin tone, I would just use something that is pretty light just so that you can get that canvas of making it lighter or darker or whatever you want, whatever works for you, but that is what I like to go in with. So I'll be using this palette today as well as my Kylie Nice palette. This used to be white, but now it's like I'm not really sure, but she's been used and a little bit abused because I've had her for a very long time and I love her. Um, so this is the shades in this palette as well. She does not still have this palette. Um, there are some palettes out there that would be sort of like this and she has a lot of these shadows in single shadows now, I believe on her website. So if I use any today, I'm gonna tell you the names if you're like, oh, I really want that shadow definitely check on her website even though she does not still have this palette i'm pretty sure pretty vulgar still has this palette not positive about that but i love pretty vulgar love kylie cosmetics so these are the two that i'm going to get our eye look with today all right so first i'm going to go in with a very cool tone um transition shade so i'm going to start with the pretty vulgar palette and i'm going to go in with this very cool tone taupey shade here called hide and seek I'm using a Morphe M330 brush. This is my absolute favorite transition shade brush. I have about a million brushes here on my table and this is the one I always, always grab. So I probably should just buy like three or four of these, but you know, here I am. So this is what I'm going in with. This is a very fluffy brush. We're gonna tap it off 
and then we are going to place our transition shade right here in the crease. You can go up pretty high with it. I don't usually go all the way up to my actual eyebrows, but you are going to go up high enough to make that the transition shade so that you can do deeper shades in the crease lower than this. So this is going to be the color that transitions from no shadow to a little bit of shadow to your actual full-blown eye look. Eyeshadow is whatever, whatever you want to do, okay? You do you. However, if you want to get the eye looks that I do, I'm all about transitioning. So this is not the 90s, unfortunately. So we don't want any super defined lines. So what you're going to see me do in these tutorials mainly is just blend, 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 blend because you don't want any like super harsh lines here or here or down here when you're when you're actually doing all of your eye look, pulling it together, you want everything to blend really flawlessly. So that is what we are going to be doing. All right, and so as you can see, I am just rocking that color back and forth very light-handedly right here in the crease. You can see how that's getting darker. I'm concentrating more on this side and then just barely bringing the color over on to the top of that crease. All right, so now that we have that transition shade built up there, again, no defined lines, we are going to deepen the corners here and bring that into the lower part of the crease. Okay, and so the shade that I'm gonna go in with now is this darker gray, a little bit shimmery shade. It has just a little bitty bit in there. I'm going in with a much smaller controlled brush, which is the Morphe doesn't say on the side brush. So just kind of look at it and get a feel for what that looks like. That's what we're going in with. And so I'm gonna go in with this dark side shade here because I'm going in with more of a gray tone, more of a cool tone today. And what I like to do with this is just tap it here in the corner where I want it to go first and then blend it out. That way the most of the color is concentrated right there in the corner where I want it. And then I'm going to deepen that crease here, deepen that corner and bring it over just slightly into the crease. definitely go in light-handed. You can always add more. It's a little bit hard to take away, obviously, um, especially if you're newer to the process of like eyeshadow and getting different kind of looks. Like, I just be cautionary with it. Okay, so one thing I like to do is add just a little bit of color. Again, you don't have to do this if you're not um, super comfortable with eyeshadow or not super comfortable with colors. If you're more of a you know, neutral Nelly kind of person. That's totally, totally fine. But since I have a little bit of purpley in my shirt a little bit here that I'm gonna be wearing, I'm gonna take Kylie's palette here and bring in this mulberry shade. Um, I don't know if it really comes across very well on the camera, but it's like a shimmery purple shade. So also like very cool toned. I'm just gonna go with the same brush, tap it off. And all this is gonna do is just add to that gray and make it more of like a purple tint. So in person, maybe not on camera, you would be able to see that it's more of like a purpley gray, not just a gray tone. And it's gonna be very subtle, but it, uh, it is gonna make the eyes pop. So that's what I kind of like to do, especially with a smoky eye, cause you don't want it to get too super dark and you don't want it to get too smudgy looking. I mean, if that's the look you're going for, go for it. And again, you're gonna see me go back in with my original fluffy brush and just go over the whole thing again and again and again, just to make sure that everything is super blended. Right, and so I would not normally do this if I was going to keep this area of my eye very, very bright, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a darker shimmer there today um, because there's just a color in this nice palette that I absolutely love and I want to use it. So for today, I am going to deepen this corner just a little bit more so that this does appear lighter when we put the shade on it. So I'm going to go in with the Nightingale palette again and go in with this very dark um, midnight, I think it's called after midnight um, charcoal gray color. When you're dealing with super dark colors like this, if you don't want your eye look to come out like very smudgy and like way too dark, you wanna go in with a very, very tiny tapered brush here. And when I say go in with a light hand, depending on the palette, if it's a good palette, it'll be very pigmented. And so you need to go in with a light, light, light hand. And then we're gonna tap it off as well. We're just gonna go in a little bit, tap, 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 
And then what you want to do is press this right at the very, very corner of your eye so that this super dark color does not go everywhere. And then very lightly rock it just into the crease here, not as far over as the other color. And that will give even more definition to the very corner of the eye on this side. All right, so as you can see now in a little bit of a close up here, this is the look that we're going for as far as very blended up to the center of the eye here and a lot darker on the outer corner than on the inner corner. It's going to make your eyes look very romantic. And now we are going to go in with the shimmer shade right here on the lid. All right, and so the shimmer shade that I want to go in with is one of my all-time favorites that Kylie has ever made, especially in this nice palette. Um, it is the shade Blizzard, and I do know that she does sell this in a single shadow, and it is just like crazy beautiful. Like, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it turns into like a purple, pink, blue reflect. Like, one of the most phenomenal colors that she's ever made. I'm just going to kind of go in with this. You can also wet this shadow, but I'm gonna try it without it today. So we are just going in with our finger and we are gonna tap that right here in the corner. If you wanted this to be more defined, which I would do if I was going out, I would either use concealer here to make it very light underneath so that this would super, super pop, or I would even use like a shadow glue, like a glitter glue, which the one that I like to use is the NYX Glitter Primer. Can't say enough about that for $7. However, today, since we're going for a little bit subtle eye look, this is what we are just gonna do today is just put it right over the inner corner and the middle of the eye. And then we're gonna blend it into that other shade. As you can see, I think a little bit, that is giving this beautiful shimmery shade. It's like pink one way, blue the other, kind of looks all purple from the front. I love how it's turning out. It is pretty glittery in person. It just makes the eyes pop. But that is what we're looking at and we're gonna blend it in a little bit more with a brush. All right, so what I like to do after I have pressed in with just my finger is go in with a little tapered flat brush and then I will take a little bit of the shadow and just make sure that it is very evened out across the eye, you know, what your finger cannot really do. And then I like to blend it into the shadow on the side a little bit, just to make sure that there's no defined lines there either. And just as a precaution, I also go back in with like one of my little darker shaded brushes and then blend it back this way. That way the shadow has been blended in in both directions. So that is the look. However, we still have to do the bottom part of the eyelid. So what I like to do with that is take like, I think I'm gonna go in with the Nightingale palette again and do this gray shade here. And I'm gonna go in with that same brush that I did the gray shade with. And we are just going to lightly press that right here along the lower lash line. And I don't like to go all the way with this because I don't want it to close my eye. I just want it to further define the eye and make sure that your shadow just doesn't like randomly stop on the side of your eye, like on this side, as you can see, it just kind of blends it down underneath. I only go about halfway. All right, so now we're gonna go in and highlight around the eye. And how I like to do that is get a very tiny, tapered end, almost pointed brush and go in with a very highlighting shade. This was like a glittery white, it's called Break Free. And so we are gonna go in with that on this brush and then put it right here on the inner corners of the eye. As you can see, that immediately gives this little highlight. And then I also like to put it right here underneath the brow bone and I will blend it a little bit with my finger as well. All right, that was too serious for a while, but we're done with the eye look, at least the eyeshadow. I wanted to go in really detailed with that for you though, because I know, again, a lot of us are only able to show our eyes right now. I know a lot of people have asked me specifically how I do my eyeshadow to give me the looks that I get all the time. But now we're going to complete the look with liner and lashes. So I'm gonna jump in with my favorite eyeliner, which is the e.l.f liquid liner. This is in the jet black color. So I'm going to let you see how I do my winged eyeliner. You don't have to do winged eyeliner with this look. You could just do like a little bitty line over the top of the eye and then we're going to do some lashes.
Like, look at the difference in that eye. Like, I, I love a winged eyeliner. All right, and so that is the liner. The main goal for eyeliner is making sure that even though they might not be identical twins, they are at least like sisters. You don't want them to be like cousins or like distant relatives. But that's the goal for the eyeliner. Now we're gonna go in with mascara. All right, so the mascara is on. You could easily leave your eye look like this, but I am gonna be extra today, honestly. Haven't done lashes in a while. So I'm gonna be using this new um, adhesive for my lashes that my cousin gave me, and it's the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. So I think I've used this one time and it stayed on pretty well. We're gonna test it out again today. The lashes that I'm going in with today are some of my all-time favorites. I love Ardell lashes. This is the Wispies, the original feathered lash with the Invisiband. Lashes are just something you're gonna have to practice. Do I still mess up all the time? 100%, okay? So what I like to do is just kind of give these a little bend, just make sure that they are very circular for your eye. So pretty much all I do is take the, oh, that is not, it's not clear, that's why. <laughs> We're gonna see how that works out. Um, and I like to put the adhesive right here along the band. And one thing to remember about lashes is that, you, oh, it's already going clear. These need to be tacky when they go on your eye, not wet. So I do not wanna put these on my eye right now because they're obviously not going to stick. You want this to be tacky and a little bit dry. So I like to continue to bend it and blow on it just to get it very tacky at first. All right, guys, so the lashes are on. That is done. I know this is a super dark eye look, so a lot of you are probably not super into that unless you actually search smoky eye look and you're here for that, and if so, I got you. So I am loving how this look turned out. The lashes look phenomenal, and they're holding pretty well. Also, the glue turned clear, so we're okay. So we are gonna do the lips and be done with this tutorial. All right, so for the lips, when I do a super bold eye look like this, I personally like to do a pretty neutral lip. What I am gonna go in with is more of a cool tone to match the eye, the shirt, everything. It's a look today. And I'm gonna go in with a Kylie Lip Kit. Duh. So this is just a matte liquid lipstick by Kylie. This is in shade Malibu, which is one of my all-time favorite cool tone shades. And lastly, we are going to quickly set the face with this Makeup Revolution Sport Fix Extra Hold Makeup Spray. All right, guys, so that is it for today's makeup tutorial. Get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm loving how this look turned out. It feels so good to be back in a full face of makeup. I'm gonna have to go out to lunch or something now because somebody needs to see me. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're new here again, thank you so much for being here and checking out a little about LB. This is just another thing that I love to show you guys, my love for makeup. If you have any questions for me about any of the products here or how I applied it, anything at all, video suggestions, just leave them down below in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you loved it and you love me. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks again so much for watching A Little About LV.